This was from uh, Restore Our Future. Another Gingrich. And, oh, fourth Gingrich. Another one here. From Restore Our Future again. Here in Iowa, likely caucus goers are getting pummeled with advertising from all sides, but a large number of them, 41% according to a poll released over the weekend, are undecided or can still be swayed before Tuesday night. Here's the journey so far for three of them. Nick Stanley, 27, of Des Moines, is still doing his homework. Arthur Donecki and his wife Norma have been highly involved in the caucus this year, even inadvertently appearing in a recent issue of Time magazine. But they haven't found a lot to like with the field. Here's Newt, and here we are. So we are standing behind him, but that does not mean we are backing him. Gingrich is like a loose cannon. Ron Paul is crazy when you get down to world, the world situation. He's an isolationist. He's not, his yeah. policies are not practical or realist. And Bachman is much too right-wing for me. Nick Stanley, on the other hand, continues to find things to like about the candidates. So early on, I was definitely thought I was more in the corner for Newt. Since that time, you know, just kind of hearing what Mitt Romney has to say, you know, and Rick Santorum, it's just, you know, it's, I can still be swayed. They're all still trying to make sense of Rick Santorum. He's the latest candidate to surge to the top tier of the field. Seems pretty vanilla, kind of easy, you know, just not a whole lot of flash with him, but I, I like that, you know, I don't really need him when it's going to come with a ton of star power. Santorum campaigns largely on one issue, and that's abortion, and it's like, Okay, we get it. We get it. But now it's decision time. They are approaching things differently, but all underscore the incredible volatility still apparent among the electorate. I'm personally going to caucus for Romney, I think. But I do so with no enthusiasm. I find it difficult to connect with him. But I think of who's left and who can beat Obama, he probably has the best chance. And that's why I probably will support him. For the still undecided Mr. Stanley, he's listening to last minute pitches from his friends and neighbors, including those scheduled to speak at his caucus on Tuesday night. You know, different representatives will be there campaigning for them. You know, just a short two to three minute speech. This is the quick and dirty of what he wants to accomplish or she wants to accomplish. Um, you know, I'm really gonna rely heavily on that. Well, I don't quite know what we're expecting. Uh, white knights don't don't show up very often. Yeah.